Hello. This is um, the first video that I've done in a while with this Bitech microphone. And I wanted to let everyone know what happened in our state. Just last night into early this morning, there was a tragedy that unfolded throughout the night. And I saw it on radar as it began in Middle Tennessee, and I saw the hook. I'm talking about the tornado. I actually recorded, I was going to post it to my channel, and I thought, well, you know, that wouldn't be very relaxational, but I, I did record about six days ago, the birds, they were going crazy. The birds were having a fit, and that made me think that something was about to happen, and I thought maybe that was a sign the birds knew the unsettled in this unsettledness in the atmosphere and the birds birds are a good warning to people but people don't pay attention um, I got the portable TV out and I found out that it doesn't work anymore well it works only when plugged up but that does not do any good in the in the case of a power outage I've used I've used this TV for this Philips TV DVD player for I think uh, since 2009 and it has been a good one. It's been there in emergencies. It has been there when we need it and um, now now the power doesn't work. I was hoping it was just the cord, but I don't think it's just the cable because if that were the case, it, it would not, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work when you have it plugged up, so the cord would not work. Yeah, I've had this TV since, okay, 2010, I thought it was 2009, but May 2010, so when I was in 10th grade. It's been a great TV, DVD player, but only works when it's plugged up, so. But if you don't know, yesterday, a large tragedy unfolded throughout the state of Tennessee, and the storm, I was literally recording it and watching the storm progress, and this tornado they might as well have just called a category four it was one mile per hour short of a category five four of an f4 ef4 they might as well have just called it that you might as well just but categorically they had to just go by the books go by the science but i was watching throughout the night as this took place and thankfully we did not we did not lose electricity uh, we almost did a few times, but thousands were without electricity, and I was recording with, uh, with my phone with, on the, the TV, because we don't have DVR, I just have over-the-air antenna TV and some streaming services, and so we had lots of lightning and wind and rain but none to the extent that took these electric poles and just ripped everything like toothpicks and nature showed its power and fury and in 1998 Nashville had a tornado that took an eerily similar path and then in 2008, the Super Tuesday outbreak during another election time in 2008. And a similar scenario took place. And instantly when this tornado went through, it was world news. Like, I mean, it went worldwide quickly. Every news outlet was talking about it. Fox News was the first to report on it. And I, uh, I tried sharing on YouTube about it. On my other channel, I shared on my other channel, and people from the area were telling me how they were doing, different subscribers were telling me how they were doing, and they said they were okay, which that's great news. And 
and uh, I honestly thought I honestly thought it was going to hit us, but it, it did not, the rough part did not go into the Sumner County, the northern Sumner County area, and honestly, they've been really building up Nashville and building up the area, and when you see a lot of build up taking place, devastation is usually inevitable but seeing everything ripped apart like toothpicks and this individual one individual was in in the restroom trying to remain safe and it collapsed on her she died that was one of the casualties and a couple of elderly people died while they were sleeping I think 25 people have been reported so far on the news but the homeless people there was a homeless lady that stated that they only cared about the high-rises and the uh, the apartments and they didn't mention that about 80 homeless people did not come out from under those bridges and some of them got swept off into the river and in the water and the tornado pushed them away and they they probably died but um, it was a serious situation watching that storm unfold. And this was a serious storm. And thank thank God it did not hit us. And I pray to God for those that did go through it. And when I was watching I mean, I was, we were watching all night, and we didn't even get ready for bed that night, really. We just, we, we had the feeling just to watch the news until about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then we just, then we, uh, then Mama went to bed, and then I stayed up and watched a little bit of the news, and then I just, I went on to sleep, fell asleep. And, uh, that's what happened. Thankfully... Now, my father, my daddy's a truck driver, and he was in Missouri, and they were talking about it on the radio, I think in Kansas City, Missouri, and they were talking about it on the radio in Kansas City, Missouri, about how this was an EF3, maybe an EF4, and that's how bad it was. And then when he drove back through the Nashville and Lebanon areas along I-40, when he drove through there, he was just in awe of all of the damage. Those big fancy homes and things of the rich wound up being completely destroyed and uh, splintered. And then a lot of the huge, huge places, businesses, a, uh, a Speedway gas station that we had just uh, stopped at a couple of weeks ago was completely demolished. It's gone. A uh, The uh, Dell computer the Dell Computer Factory is completely destroyed, and it's been there for, oh my goodness, it's been there for a long time. Several trucking companies completely destroyed. Several uh, factories and businesses that were there have been stripped and destroyed. Loading docks and things at various places destroyed. Homes and uh, restaurants, businesses, and such have been, have been destroyed. I'm just going to use this to tap on. I'm not really thinking about the tapping at the moment. Um, immediately last night, we called, uh, I called my Nana, well, Daddy called Nana from the phone. We, Our phone was going in and out, our signal. We have to have a micro cell tower. It's over there near the router, and we don't get signal here. Maybe one bar if we're lucky, if I'm lucky at times, but when I put the cell tower in, our own micro cell tower from AT&T, then I get full five bars of signal and so I texted my aunt and then I texted or then she texted and said that my uncle was were okay that that my the Walmart where my other aunt works got some damage but the um, that the family was fine and uh, one of the old chapels believe it or not that is uh, has is under the name of um, where it's the name that my 
it's an Irish name that where my um, mama's side of the family comes from the name and it had the same name and I don't know if they were related or not but they um, my granny's side on my, mom, my mama's mama who passed away at 80 years old in 2005 that the family name there was a chapel with the same name and it was remaining it remained standing and I was wondering if it was actually in any relation to our family they even had the same road name of the same street as our family name but another thing we called family we called everyone to make sure they were okay yes they were fine only thing is some of them had electrical outages thankfully we remained in the clear except for the heavy rain downpours the flooding and the uh, strong damaging winds and all of that we remained in the clear tornado wise the storms were still very strong and we had, uh, after mama went to bed I heard some hail but that, would, that only lasted about two minutes so nothing in comparison to what other areas received and so an interesting story regarding this one this one church no this one building this one family had everything demolished and the news talked about that news 2 WKRN channel 2 channel 2 is WKRN 4 is WSMV WZTV and then uh, that's there's news channel 5 and then there is news channel 5 and Fox 17 but there is uh, they reported on a a shirt with a cross of Jesus Christ and it was in the drawers and the family said it was tightly in the drawer the house was demolished everything was completely destroyed every building and every house around them was destroyed and this was an area where 200 houses lost their roof and over 36 houses were completely destroyed in the area and multiple businesses demolished and the house even though it was demolished there was a um, there was a shirt just hanging up spraddled out spread out with a cross on it of Jesus Christ and that's the only thing that remained and they yes they even stated on the news that they consider that a message a miracle they don't even know how that happened they don't know how that's possible that a cross could have managed to a shirt with a cross could have managed to withstood through all of that damage everything around it completely demolished and the shirt with the cross remained and that was what they considered they considered that a miracle which I understand why I actually can't hear what I'm stating on the earbuds but I have them in there so they stay I have them in my ears so they stay up but when you look at the power of nature it is just it brings people down to their knees and people are still remaining faithful they're helping each other out which is that's good news people should be doing that no matter what to begin with and the Red Cross brought came in helicopters were flying in uh, President Trump is going to go is going to be there and do us and it's going to speak for uh, um, the area of Wilson Davidson Sumner and Trousdale and uh, surrounding areas and Williamson, I think he's going. I, President, the president's going to speak on Friday. I'm not sure what time, but he's going to he's going to go to Tennessee and speak. He's going to come here and speak. And uh, we live in the northern Middle Tennessee, the northern Sumner County, not at the Highland Rim, but just south of there. It's like you know we don't live exactly to the exact on the exact border of Tennessee, Kentucky. But there were two tornadoes in Kentucky, and there were five in the state of Tennessee last night and early this morning and this thing stayed on the ground for a long long extended path and for a moment when this happens 
people then realize to come together and stop focusing on just themselves and focusing on politics, building and it, expansion, money, uh, you know, well, I know money's important because you have to get by, that's not what I'm meaning, but I'm talking about the billions and trillions that they make on the industry, on building up the high-rises, building up the skyscrapers, building all of, all of their sports and the arenas and things that they build, and they're focusing on building up the city instead of focusing on the people. And for a moment, people came together to help each other out. And it took nature to do that. Sadly, it always takes a disaster. Almost always, historically, it takes a disaster for people to come together. And that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be at all. Like, I have helped out during Christmas time. I've given randomly whatever I can, helped a person that needed something to eat. If the, I bought them cheeseburgers, I bought them different food or something if they needed it. And thankfully, sometimes that's been reciprocated and people just randomly bought our meal for no reason or paid it or when we needed it. And we're in tough times right now. Medically, financially, we're in tough times. We've, it's uncertain. And it's, it's rough in this world. And I'm sure those that are poor, those that are poor in these tornado ravaged areas, those that are poor, not the rich, not the ones with all the money already, they can just rebuild and go somewhere else or whatever. But those that are poor and suffering and just barely making ends meet, those are the ones that, that truly, my heart goes out to you that for your losses and in this time of uncertainty. And if I could donate, believe me, I would. If I ever become successful as a YouTuber, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give back. You see all these people with, with a PayPal, a Patreon, a Teespring, a, the, uh, their website. They have all of these donation links. I just have one PayPal link. And to those that have, I thank you, but even more can help out. And if I ever get somewhere... I'm definitely giving back. I'm going to further education. I'm going to give back. I'm going to help other people. And that's that's there's no doubt in my mind because I know what it's like to struggle. And when you know what it's like to struggle, you appreciate it more when you do get somewhere. And experiencing the loss in life also can make you appreciate the things you have more. Material things are not the most important things. You've got the spiritual, the physical, the uh, you've got the spiritual aspect and the and, and the love of loved ones and that's what's super important in life but money helps out obviously if I ever get anywhere and if I ever get substantial donations I'm definitely furthering education gonna find a way to go to college gonna find a way to expand through life and go further hopefully and help others out along my journey but seeing what happened and seeing people come together is great but it's sad to see the homeless. It's sad to see the homeless now, even, from the storms. But the power of nature, it's just something that's amazing. You've seen a lot of storms in European Asian areas. Bombogenesis, bomb cyclones. They had three or four in a row, and they ravaged the areas. You've seen these storms and major earthquakes and volcanic eruptions throughout the past year. There have been multiple, from Papaqueta Petal Volcano in Mexico to um, the Ural uh, uh, volcanoes, to the uh, volcanoes in Indonesia, the volcanoes that erupted in New Zealand, and the fires that are ravaging Australia that are still going through there, even though they had ma major storms and rain. Uh, Tennessee, we've had record amount of rain, a record amount, already some places over 20 inches of rain, and just, and it's just March, March 3rd, it's just March 3rd, and it's, you see lots of flooding, in the, and so many things, lots of seismic activity, they say there's a meteor or an asteroid or something that's coming toward through this month, I don't know, might miss us, I have no idea, no clue. The uncertainty. And then you've got the eclipse that happened in 2017 and then an eclipse in 2024. So many different things and signs that you could, you know, take, but things you can just take as signs from the heavens. 
But when you see so many disasters happening, you want to help. You want to give back. And I wish I could give back to others. And if I could take care of my own situations, then I would definitely help others. But I've helped people out through the years when they when I felt when we were able to, and it's it feels good. And um, we thankfully miss those storms. We narrowly missed the paths of these storms, and it it, it was um, you know when you I heard the train sound. I heard the train sounds in in the east southeast. I heard the sounds. And when you hear those train sounds, you know there's a tornado. And then here comes the winds, but thankfully we we escaped. We missed the tornadic situations. And for that I'm thankful. But, but, you've got to rise up from the darkness, from the struggle. Whatever your situation of struggle is right now, you've got to, we just have to rise up through things and see that we try to make our, make it up, make it to the, make it to the best point that we possibly can. And... as one people in this world, one spiritually connected people, try to help each other out. And it's, uh, it's a struggle. This world, this life is a struggle. And so many of these disasters happen in every moment now. And um, I'm just thankful that we missed those. I'll try to post a link to the Red Cross and all that below so that I can have that link and um, maybe to the um, Salvation Army things like that so that you can help donate as well I have that on my Amazon link as well so that you can so that when I purchase something which I don't do that often but when I when we have to 0.5% goes to charity and every little bit helps and uh, I'm going to put the link to the Red Cross and the Salvation Army below, which are the two I can think of right off the bat. And also I'll put my link for support for my myself and our family, and I'll, I'll put our link below as well. My link below for my PayPal, where you can donate if you would like to help out. And... If I ever get substantial amounts of donations, I'm giving back to those in need. I'm definitely giving back to those that need it. Like ourselves, and people in worse situations. Because when you know what it's like to come from struggle, you want to help, you want to help people out. And sadly, usually the people that want to help others out are the ones that are going through the struggle themselves. But, the storms that went through they were quite something. They were quite something to watch and witness. I was going to post the videos of of the uh, storm. I've been having problems. I've been blacking out. I've been going through these blackouts. I walked outside and fell over. I've done that for my, my entire life, but it started again. And I've been having these blackouts and can't afford to get to medically get, a, get the help that we need. And, but... I don't know what I'll do in life. My parents are suffering as well, but this to see I want to be able to help people out in the future. I just that's just my my passion for wanting to be able to help people out is just very 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 strong. That's what I've wanted to do my entire life. Um I don't want to get emotional in the video. That's kind of just that defeats the purpose of a, of a calming video. But um I hear helicopters going over. Probably the Salvation Army and the uh, military and drones going to help out the people in need. Yep, they're flying over to help out the people that were victims of these severe storms and tornadoes. 
we see a lot more of these situations happening. And uh, But anyway, I just wanted to tell everyone that we're all right. We're okay. Um, I'm in, we're in northern Middle Tennessee, so northern Sumner County. But thankfully, we missed those really bad storms. And I've been going through those blackout symptoms, but I'll talk about that in another video. I don't know if it's a gluten allergy or what, but I've been going through that, and it's been unpleasant. The diarrhea, the blacking out, all that mess, I don't know what that's all about, but if I ever get somewhere far in life, I'm going to help people out. If I ever raise raise the vibrational conscious level and raise my, raise my awareness to the point where I'm able to just excel in life and raise, just raise bar for myself and others I'm not putting that I'm not explaining that right but if, if I'm ever able to succeed farther in life I'm going to help not only just help myself but I'm going to help others and that's what I want to do and it makes you want to even more when you see so many people in need but um, anyway we miss the storms but my prayers and love, positive energy, all of that goes to the people who are dealing with these tragic situations. So, especially the ones that can't afford to um, to rebuild, that can't afford to uh, to just recover right away. And you've got these gridlock situations for several people. There's a lot going on right now. But we're going to persevere. We're going to persevere. Lord knows we're going to persevere. We're going to make it. Things will get better. There's a light. And the light is great. So let your light shine. I love you all. And uh, sorry to be emotional part of the time in the video. But it's just that I want to help so many. I really do. And uh, But anyway, if you'd, like to, if you'd like to show support for us, for me... Um, my link for that is below, and I'm going to keep positive, and that's what we all need to do. Help each other out in this world and remain positive. I thank God that we missed those storms, and I pray for those and I send in love and energy, positive and thoughts to, to positive energy and thoughts and prayers and all of that to everyone, for everyone that went through it and is going through it now. And, um... Yeah, I love you all so much, and um, I didn't do many sounds during this video, I just did mostly talking, but my link is below if you'd like to show support for us and our situation, and there are other links, I'll put two other links below for, well the first one will be for my PayPal, and the other one will be for um, an email of mine my main email. The other two will be for the Red Cross and Salvation Army if you'd like to help out and help donate so they can get more funding for these disastrous situations. I love you all. Peace, much love, many blessings, and signing out. Sweet dreams, everyone. And my thoughts are with everyone. Lord, may we all persevere through times of struggle. We will make it through. I'm just doing a prayer now. That we may, we will make it through the struggle. We will make it through the strife. We will make it. We will make it. And persevere in this life. Things will get better. Amen. I love you all so much. God bless. And sweet dreams if you're relaxing. My links are below.